whenever you are. Great. Welcome, everybody. I'm Susan Harrow, media coach, marketing strategist, and author of Sell Yourself Without Selling Your Soul and CEO of PRSecrets.com. And welcome, and thank you all for coming because this is really a very innovative and cutting edge webinar that you know, will put you way ahead of the curve. And Rick Jorgensen is our presenter, and he's got over 30 years of sales and marketing expertise. He specializes in online marketing, and that's been over the past 15 years. And some of the successful campaigns that he's run for big name companies, you know, big corporations like IBM, Microsoft, DirecTV. And then now he's made this transition over the past three years to run his own consulting practice. And there he helps companies put together online lead generation and sales program. programs. So he's the founder and CEO of Health and Wellness Network. So I love this, Rick, that you're an online weight loss business that, that is such big business that generated revenues of over one million in its first year of operation. Congratulations, that's huge. And then before that, Rick ran an internet marketing um, for CISPRO software for two years. And even before that, he was VP of an internet marketing for IDM Partners, which is an LA-based interactive ad agency, and that for five years. So he's got a lot of experience in the corporate market and also in the internet market and blending those two together as well as you know things like the health and wellness markets and and now I was so excited when I heard about um, his webinar because for one thing as you all know I'm techni technologically challenged so to be able to create my own app without being a, a, a techie genius was something that really appealed to me and also just the whole nature of it that this app thing. It's just a huge and burgeoning business. And I know you're going to sh share some stats with us on that. So it's an enormous opportunity for you to get in on the ground floor. And that's another reason why I, I wanted you all to have that kind of marketing edge. So Rick, I, I'm so excited that we're going to be talking today about how to build a six-figure income by creating and giving away free mobile apps. Welcome. Why, thank you so much, Susan. I really, really appreciate you um, having me on and introducing, giving me the opportunity to introduce the program to your folks. Um, as you said, this is a, it, it's actually, I was going to say it's a growing industry. It's an exploding industry. Um, it's already a multi, multi-billion dollar industry, and I'll share some stats with everybody here in a minute. But it is probably one of the most it is it is the most exciting industry that I've gotten involved in at the early stages since the internet became the internet. Let's put it that way. Since internet marketing first caught hold some probably 15 years ago, um, and it it truly is like those early days of, in, of, of when the internet first got started. Internet marketing took hold. Um, it is just like that. It's, it, you know, I call it the wild, wild west, Susan, and, and uh, it's, it's an exciting time. So, you know, what I want to do today is, is, you know, spend the next 45 minutes or so and introduce people to this world and this opportunity, and show everybody just how simple and easy it is. There's a lot of layers to it, and there's a lot of little hidden secrets that a lot of uh, people that are in the business don't want a lot of people to know, and you're going to see why in a little bit here. And I always like sharing secrets. I always like kind of breaking that egg open and showing people that, you know, it's not as difficult as it appears to be or people make it out to be. So that's, that's, that's what I'm excited about. But let, let me start out by touching on, on this point here, what, what I'm not going to teach you. What I'm not going to teach you and talk about today is how mm -hmm. to create complicated <laughs> apps like Angry Birds. Thank now you. again, I love Angry Birds. I play it on my phone. I play it on my tablet. It's a great little distractor kind of in the middle of the day when my brain is full of all kinds of stuff. It's a nice way to get away. But you know what? We're not going to talk about creating those kind of apps. Those are complicated. It, those take tens of thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of dollars to build. Um, they're very successful. I mean, Angry Birds is one of the most successful uh, mobile apps ever, and it makes millions and millions and millions of dollars. But we're not going to talk about that. Um, we're going to keep it pretty simple, but 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 very lucrative as well. And what you are going to learn today is how to easily create, give away, and earn $100 a day per app. I'm going to show you 
how you can create apps that generate $100 a day per app, which is very, very exciting. And I'll show you exactly how that works and exactly how we've done that in a very short period of time uh, as well. Now, I like to start out by showing you what's possible. And I'm going to introduce a couple of fellas to you. These are two friends of mine. These are young guys out of San Diego, California. I'm just, I live just to the north of them in San Clemente, California on the beach. And these two young guys had no, I, I want to emphasize this, they had no mobile app background whatsoever. They had no training in mobile apps. Um, they had no background in it. They never went to school for it. They basically came from um, uh, engineering backgrounds. But again, engineering and mobile app development are two different animals. Let me emphasize that. They decided they wanted to get into the app business. And I want to show you what's possible. They've been in the business now for about three years. And uh, it, Quok Bowie, Michael Moon, Quok and Michael, Quok on the left, Michael on the, on the right, co-founders of a little company called Free the Apps. And I want to emphasize little here. Free the Apps is basically a garage company. Okay? These guys work out of their home. They still do after three years, even after all of the success that they've had. And you're going to see just how successful they are. Currently, they have 20 free, I want to emphasize this, free apps in the app stores, both in iTunes and in Google Play. Okay, So uh, they've got 20 free apps. They're giving these apps away. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to warn you right now, this next, this next bullet point is going to be a shocker. These apps right now earn, on average, this is an average. Sometimes it's higher than this. Sometimes it's a little bit lower. But they, they earn, on average, $77,452 a month. Wow. A month. And remember, these are free apps. People download these for free. But they've created an amazing model. And basically what I've done and what I've been able to do is to learn from this model, piggyback onto it, replicate this model, and actually expand on this model. Um, it, but, but here's the icing on the cake. I mean, if you would think, how could there be any icing? I mean, this seems like this is the cake and icing everything else, 77000 a month, 20, you know, off of just 20 apps, right? Here's the icing on the cake. The icing on the cake is this. They recently sold their portfolio. And we'll talk more about portfolios because that's basically what we teach people how to do is create a portfolio of, of different apps. They recently sold this portfolio for over $2 million, which truly is icing on that, on that cake. But here's the great part about it. The great part about it is they, of course, immediately started building a new portfolio, right? Mm -hmm. So you know, they took the money, they ran, and, and all they're doing now is just replicating that success. They're, they're, they're just building another set of, of, of apps. But this is possible. But, but I've got to tell you something. These two guys are not unusual in the business. This is not like me finding, all right, let me find the best possible example to be able to show you. This is, this is probably, um, these guys are probably in about the upper 25 to 30 percent of app developers, okay? But this is the kind of money that's being made in that upper 25, upper 30 percent. But again, I'm going to show you how to make $100 a day per app, right? Uh, if you divide 20 into 77,000, that, that actually works out to be a little more than $100 per app in their case, certainly. But, but this is what's possible. And I guess what you need to ask yourself, really, when it comes right down to it, is what's possible for you? I've got to emphasize that we're talking about apps that cross all kinds of niche boundaries here, whether it's cooking or gardening or sports or travel or health or fitness or pets, it, it doesn't matter. And you can kind of you could zero in on what you're passionate about. I mean, Quok and Michael had a passion for photography, so they developed a number of, of apps for the, for the photography uh, niche. Um, but you, know, it, it, you don't have to focus on your passion. You could focus on your current business. You could develop apps for your current business. It's a great way to promote your business, to bring people in the door. It gives you another marketing tool. That's another great way to work in the app world, and we'll talk more about that as well. But what's possible for you? What can you create? What are you? I mean, I, I always like to ask people, what are they passionate about? Because a lot of times that passion can be turned into profit 
in the in the form of a mobile app. So let me show you what's really driving all of this in the in the app market. Here's let's take a look at the at the marketplace as it exists today. This is an amazing statistic. And I really want this to kind of sink into everybody. The number of smartphones sold, this was last year, the number of smartphones sold exceeded the number of computers sold last year. Wow. There are more there are more yeah. smartphones being sold than there are computers. And that trend will continue for until they invent something other than smartphones and computers, I think. You know, that, that's going to continue for the foreseeable future. It's it's an amazing statistic that that you know, and I'll tell you why. People are using their phones as computers now. They're using phones. They're using tablets. They're getting away from from certainly from desktop computers more and more and more. But they're starting to get away from laptops. Pretty much, my smartphone can do just about anything my uh, laptop can do, and that's what's driving this 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 app explosion. Check this out. Apps are now a $10 billion a year market. But this is what gets me so excited. They're growing at the rate of 100% per year. 100% per year? What other industry on the planet, truly, what other industry on the planet is growing at the rate of 100% per year? I don't know of any. And that's what makes this market so explosive and so wide open. And and. People like Michael and Clark are what's driving this market, Susan. It's, it's normal, everyday people. It's not big companies. You hear about the big companies, the, the kind of companies that would develop uh, like Angry Birds or, or Words with Friends, stuff like that. But what really drives the majority of this, this $10 billion a year market are individual developers people like Quok and Michael, people that really, a lot of these folks that do not have any kind of developer background whatsoever. And as a matter of fact, that's one of the secrets here and one of the keys to this business model is, you know, developers know a lot about developing and they're brilliant at it, right? They know exactly how to create something and how to put it all together in the right, you know, way and pieces. That's not my world. I'm not a developer. I'm a marketer. And marketers in this in this in this uh, space have the edge because those of us that mm. understand how to market things have a real edge over those people that understand you know the development side of it. So that's what's exciting about it, and that's really what we're going to delve into. I love it, that. I love that. You know why? Um, because and I like a couple things that you said, um, Rick. Number one, it can either be your passion or it can be your business because sometimes. You know, and then your passion obviously can grow into uh, obviously something very lucrative. So really, you know, expand your minds to think about the kinds of things that that you spend most of your time doing in your off hours, right? And then also that that you know, as we all know and have been so frustrated by the techies of the world, where you know it's not in English or we don't understand it. So that you who knows what your market wants as Rick said, in terms of marketing, you have the edge over a developer who's thinking more in tech terms. Isn't that right? Absolutely. There's no question about it. And this is where this market, this business model parallels the early Internet marketing days. Because in the early days of Internet marketing, or even the, the, middle, the middle days of Internet marketing, right, maybe even four or five years ago, what you were always taught to do to build a business on the Internet was you were taught to to focus on a niche market, right? Focus on a niche market, whether it was health and wellness, whether it was pets, whether it was whatever it happened to be, you were told to focus on a niche market. And then you were told to build something like a blog and create content. And then and then you were you, you had to learn how to drive people to that, you know, those those content sites that you built. And then you were taught how to monetize all that. This parallels it, but it's so much easier than that model and, 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 I'll, and I'm going to show you why. It's a simple five-step process here that we've developed, that we've taken this, this free app success formula. And so step one, step one is identifying the right niche markets, just exactly what I was talking about. So step one, identifying the right niche markets. I'll get into that in more detail here in a minute. Step two, create simple info apps for those markets. And I'll, tell, and I'll show you in a minute exactly what I mean by simple information apps. Step three is mon the monetization. Because remember, 
we're giving these apps away. We aren't charging for these apps. So you have to have a way to monetize the apps for the marketplace. We'll show you how to do that. That's exactly how uh, Quok and Michael are generating that 70,000 plus uh, income on a monthly basis with their free apps. Step four, give away those apps to your niche audience. We're going to show you how to do that. We're going to show you the right way and the most effective way to give those apps away. And then finally, step five, Step five is my favorite, favorite step, Susan. Step five is cash the checks that you're getting mm -hmm. from the monetization on your apps. That's the, the, my favorite step. But really, this process is just rinse and repeat. It's all it is. So once you go through step one through five, you just go right back up to step one again to build the next, create the next app. Does that make sense, Susan? That makes, that makes total sense. And, yeah, and, a, and absolutely. that's very clear. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So again, kind of drilling. You know the, the 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 drill down on this, and what we really start to focus in on is these individual steps. So step one, finding the right niche markets. So number one, identify the most profitable niches. And again, what you're looking for here are those niche markets that um, that are the most profitable. Okay, and we teach you how to find the most profitable niche markets. I'm going to give you a couple of tools couple of things that you can play with to kind of get a feel for it. There's a great site out there called AppAnnie.com. AppAnnie lists out, and they update this daily, by the way. They list out all the top free apps in both iTunes and Google Play. And they do it and break it down by category, by niche, by niche. So you can check out what is you know what's the hottest apps? What are, what are the top hundred by each one of those categories? You can get a really good feel for what people are downloading. The other one, I don't know how many of you are aware of Google Trends. Google, it's exactly what it sounds like. It's Google's way of keeping track of what is currently trending on a daily basis, weekly basis, monthly basis, yearly basis, for that matter. If you go to Google, you type in Google Trends, you'll come to the Google Trends site. And, and, and this is another way to find kind of what's hot, what, what's, um, what people are looking for, what they're talking about, what they're concerned with type thing. That's another way to kind of identify some profitable niche markets at the same time. So step two, once you've identified the niche market, step two then is creating a simple information app. What you see on the screen is our free app builder. This, this is the software that comes with our program. Actually, we have two different builders that come with the program. But the one that you see on the screen is, I hate to use the word, Susan, I hate to use the word stupid, but I'm going to use the word stupid. It's stupid simple, okay? It really is. I've taken people that are so technologically challenged that they barely knew how to turn on a computer, and I've shown them and taught them how to use this tool that you're looking at right here to build a very simple app, mobile app. I've shown them how to do that and how to publish it, okay, how to get it published so that it's ready for download. And I've shown them how to do that in probably uh, an hour's time, okay? Very exciting stuff. But what you see here in this builder is you see. On the left-hand side, you see where all of the content is generated and built from. What the right-hand side does is it shows you, as you're creating this content, it shows you what it's going to actually look like on a phone, which is really cool. That way you aren't kind of building it blind. You're seeing it as you're building it. Kind of like uh, those of you that have ever built a blog or even a website and you've used what's called a, a WYSIWYG editor, an editor that shows you exactly what it's going to look like when you go live with it. That's exactly how this works. But let me show you this next screen. That's really neat, by the way. You know, my social media manager has been doing that for me with my videos. He's like, okay, this is what your video is going to look like on a smartphone. I'm like, oh, okay, we need to make the type bigger then. Exactly. You know, so, yeah, because you really have exactly. to look, well, you, see you, what it looks you like. You get a chance, right. You get a mm -hmm. chance to see it so you know exactly what everybody else is going to see once you publish it. And on the left-hand side here, this is all the different kinds of content that you could put into your app. This is what this allows you to do. You could put Twitter feeds in here, Susan, Facebook pages, live album uh, feeds, Instagram feeds. 
you can put RSS feeds, which means you're bringing in content from blogs. You can bring in any kind of blog content. You could put Yelp reviews directly from Yelp feeds right into the apps. You could put you know, a, a, a page of just web links. You could put an actual web page. You, so in other words, I could take your website, Susan, and actually place it inside the app itself. Um, you can bring oh. in audio content. You can bring in YouTube. Direct YouTube content can be fed right into these apps. You could put maps in. There's a geolocator built in here so you can have maps. If you've got, for instance, like if you had a local business and you wanted to um, create an app for that local business, you can have all of their content, content information, their contact information, the map of their location, which is which has a geolocator built into it, which means uh, anybody using that app, let's say I'm across town and I want to find, you know, Joe's restaurant, I can just tap on that geolocator and it'll it'll map it out for me from where I'm standing at that moment and show me exactly how to get there. So very, very powerful tool, yet very simple to use in creating these simple apps. So that's kind of the cool thing about the software that we have built into the program as well. So step two, we've, step one, we've, we've identified uh, some profitable niche markets that we want to go after. Step two, we start creating these simple apps for the market, which brings us then to step three, which is monetizing the apps. This is this is probably, it's all important, but this is probably the most important if you want to make money. Does that make sense, Susan? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Right? Right? I mean, you've got to have a way to monetize it. There's two different ways that we teach you initially, simple ways that we teach you how to monetize these apps. The first way you see on the screen, this is AdMob. AdMob is actually a Google, it's now a Google company. AdMob is a uh, ad network. It's a mobile ad network. So those of you that, that, that are familiar with apps on your phone, a lot of times you're seeing little uh, banner ads that either appear at the very bottom of the, of the app or at the top of the app, okay? The AdMob serves these ads. And basically what you're going to do is you're going to place this on your app, and then AdMob automatically feeds these little banner ads into your app um, as people are using it, right? They'll, they'll come up as they switch screens, maybe a new, new ad comes on. Very similar to if you're on a, a website that has ads on it. It's very similar to that. But it's at the bottom of the ad. It's fairly non-obtrusive. And anytime somebody clicks on one of these, it generates income for you. Anytime somebody clicks, they don't have to buy anything. All they have to do they click, you make money. It's a very cool way. The other way that you're making money on the right hand. Uh, so on the on the wait, on the I, missed hand, I missed that. I missed that. I'm Rick. How are how are you making money? This first way, anytime somebody clicks on one of the ads that's appearing on your app, okay. okay. Uh huh. Anytime somebody clicks on a banner, it creates income. Oh. Very similar to if you had uh, if you have Google AdSense on a blog, anytime somebody clicks on an ad on, on you know on your blog, it creates income. Okay. Okay. Does that make sense, Susan? Yes. So if they're clicking okay. on the ads that are appearing when your free app appears. Correct. That's okay. Correct. Got it. Okay. The second way, and this is the most lucrative. This is this is what creates the most income. This. This will drive that $100 a day scenario much faster than the clicking on of the ad income. Okay? And that's through affiliate offers. On the right-hand screen here, you'll see this. This happens to be one of the apps that we've developed over the past three months. It's, it's a gluten-free app. It's called Gluten-Free Living. Very popular app. It's doing very well. I'll show you some stats on it here in a little bit. But the ad that you see right here, this Avoid Gluten Pain, this isn't our product. This is somebody else's product. We are an affiliate of this product. And when somebody purchases this product, it's an ebook. When somebody purchases this product from our app, it generates income for us. In this case, I think this particular book is about $19 or $20 in commission for us every time somebody purchases it from the app. 
So this is so we've got the, the banners that run at the bottom. See where it says this click me, these banners run at the bottom. That generates every time somebody clicks. Then you've got a section in the app that people will, will be able to see offers um, for that related niche market, in this case gluten free. When they purchase this gluten free ebook, this happens to be gluten free diet plan and recipes. It's actually a pretty cool book. When they purchase that, it generates a commission. That's the other way that we're monetizing these apps. So these are the two basic ways that these free apps are being monetized. People are downloading the app for free from one of the, the app stores, Google Play Store or, the, or iTunes. And once they have it on their phone then, then this begins to kind of just work for you um, behind the scenes. And, and I'm going to show you that here in a second, a little more detail. So we've gone through the first three steps. Now the all important, how do you get this out in people's hands? Okay, how do you give away these apps? We're going to teach you very unique ways to be able to do this. One of the ways is targeting niche groups and fan pages on Facebook. This is the most underutilized way that uh, we're showing people and growing app businesses, Susan, is by using social media. And by giving these apps away in these different fan pages, for instance, you see on the screen here, this is Paleo Diet Lifestyle. We developed a Paleo Diet uh, app that is actually ranked number three right now on Google Play. So it's number oh. three in the Android world. Yeah, it's, it's uh, that's so really bad. that's really great because that's a very competitive marketplace, as is the gluten free. It, it absolutely. And so what we've been able to do is we created a lot of momentum by going out to all of the different paleo diet groups and fan pages on Facebook, create dialogue, give the app away. Because remember, we aren't selling anything, right? So we aren't going on these people's pages and, and saying, hey, buy our app. We're just saying, hey, we've created this great app. It's great information on paleo diet. It's got recipes, diet tips, information all kinds of stuff about the paleo diet that you can have right on your phone. Um, here's the link. Click here and download on it, right? And we've created a tremendous amount of, of downloads that way by driving people through Facebook. The other way is Twitter. You can actually find conversations on Twitter, groups on Twitter that are talking about paleo diet. You can send tweets out then in that case offering, offering the, your app. Uh, in, in, in any number of niche markets, you know, hundreds and hundreds of different niche markets. And Twitter, it turns out to be a fantastic tool to be able to publicize, promote, give away your app as well. And the third really powerful way to be able to do this is blogs that are niche focused. So in this case, we focused on any blog that was paleo diet focused or even just diet or weight loss focus where they were talking about paleo diet, we contacted the owners of those blogs and said, hey, we've developed this app. It's free. Um, would you consider doing a review on it for us? Um, or you could do a write-up on it, a blog post on it, just telling folks about it. And then you can offer this to your audience for free. And, and most blog owners jump all over it. They love it because, again, it gives them something content they can talk about, and it gives them something of value that they can give away to their audience, which they're always, always looking for. So these are some key ways. There's a lot of other ways that we teach you how to give away your apps, but these are some really key ways that we have found that, that are very, very successful. As a matter of fact, just to show you kind of a quick example, here's a post on a particular site, and again, this was for paleo diet tips, and it's as simple as this. Uh, I just published my new app, Paleo Diet Tips, to the Google Play Store. If you have an Android phone, feel free to download it and give me your feedback, right? So again, this is simply just, hey, we've got this here. Check it out. And let me tell you something. When people go and they see your app published on Google Play, that's instant credibility right there, okay, number one. And we're going to teach you how to do that. Again, it's not a big deal. Matter of fact, Google Play, there is no approval process. You could just go ahead and get published on Google Play. If you publish something that's objectionable or it's, you know, it, it, it's something that's in violation of their terms, they'll 
they'll boot it off of there very, very quickly. But the good thing is you don't have to jump through a bunch of hoops to get it published. Uh, you, but, but by doing that, you create this instant visibility and this instant credibility. It's not like you're saying, hey, go to my website and download this. You're saying, hey, go to the Google Play Store. Google Play's published this. So you know, people are going, wow, okay, cool. They go to the Google Play Store. They download it to their phone. They download it to their tablet. And then this starts creating more and more visibility because the way that Google works is, the more downloads you start to get, the more you get people talking about and reviewing your app, the more visibility you get in Google Play, right? So again, we teach you how to get that visibility and how to, how to, especially in competitive niche market, show you how to get to the top of that search. So now what starts to happen is people will go to Google Play. They'll type in, I'm looking for paleo diet. Anything on paleo diet, I'm looking for an app. And guess what? We show up number three. How, do you think that affects our download numbers on a daily basis? Oh, it's Absolutely. huge because that's, again, the, you've got, you're in a couple of really competitive market, very popular but competitive marketplaces. So a Absolutely. Totally mm -hmm. and completely. So that's the other cool thing that starts to happen. You jump start it. You kind of give it this jump start by going into social media, creating some campaigns. And again, this is all free advertising, Susan. All of this is free advertising, right? We're not spending a dollar, not a dime, on advertising these apps, and we're creating this kind of success. So that's the other cool thing. You can, and we'll teach people in, 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 our, in kind of later in our training, we'll teach people how you can use paid advertising to, to really rocket it, but you don't need to, especially in the early stages. You just don't need to. So this creates a lot of visibility and a lot of excitement for the app, which then kind of creates this kind of, uh, these kind of results right here. This is a snapshot. I took this yesterday, or I took this on Monday. This is showing Monday, October the 15th, past Monday. Um, and this is one of our apps, 114 downloads on that particular day. And a seven-day time frame, 715. This was paleo diet tips, by the way. 715 downloads uh, over the last 30 days. 2,955 downloads. This has been out for about uh, not quite 90 days, but you can see that's a 60% increase over the month previously. And then all time, we've had 7,384 downloads. And again not spending one single dime. Now let me show you what this is doing for us. This is the, a snapshot. Again, this was taken today, this morning. You can see it's the 17th of October. I did this at 7.44 a.m. Uh, and uh, I, what I wanted to show you, these are the different offers that I have embedded within the Paleo Diet app. Okay, these are the different offers. And, you know, it, it, um, this is ClickBank, by the way, Susan. This is ClickBank. Oh, okay. And, and, mm -hmm. and we teach people how to find uh, and use ClickBank uh, to their advantage. Uh, but a lot of the uh, affiliate offers that we're using are coming out of ClickBank. Got it. So you can see that it, it, it generated a total of 932 clicks. 932 clicks today as of this morning. Of course, you know, if I did this at the end of the day, it would be a lot more than that. This is just as of this morning. 932 clicks on those offers that we have within the app itself. Those 932 clicks generated three, uh, three sales, okay, three sales. Two on one particular offer, one on another, which generated, this, these are commissions now, these are net commissions. Can you read that out loud? Because I sure can't see that even with my glasses. Yeah, I, I, I apologize. <laughs> I, I no worries. Screen. Yeah, I, I I think it's like eighty-five dollars. Eighty-five. It's exactly what it yeah. is. Eighty-five dollars okay, and fifty-five cents. For those of you that are watching the recording, you can always pause it at this point if you really want to blow up your screen. And no, but it. you know what? Let me just recap just really quickly what you said, so people understand and people may not know what what ClickBank is. And and you'll correct me if I'm wrong, but you've got a couple of different ways to um, to set up and promote the apps. I mean, the first one is um, once it gets into the iTunes or Google Play, is you're connecting with affiliates here in ClickBank, whereas 
ClickBank is a place where people are selling like eBooks and downloadable products that you can then embed into your app and make income every time someone clicks on it. So, that's, so for people who don't know what ClickBank is, it's a repository for people to find affiliates and uh, share their products. And you can become their affiliate and then put that affiliate in your app. The second way is to have um, – you're making money from ads that are on the page. And then the third way is as your good marketing is, you're connecting with blogs or, or Facebook, Twitter, um, maybe even you know, LinkedIn for um, social media for people who your app would be an advantage for them to promote. So you're getting people promoting your app for you because it, it helps their brand and it offers something valuable to their followers. Have I, have I assessed that correctly? Did I lose you? Oh my god, I hope I didn't just ramble on and nobody heard a thing. Rick, I can't hear uh, Rick, I can't hear you. Can you hear me? Well, let's see. Uh, you hear me but not Rick. Okay. Um, okay, Rick, we can't hear you if you can hear me. I'm not sure what happened. So everybody says they hear me, but not you. Okay. Rick, they can't hear you. Okay, so it sounds like your audio isn't, isn't going. So um, I'll keep chatting for a minute until Rick gets this uh, straightened out because it looks like there's a little bit of a crash on the um, screen as well. So let me hey, just... sorry, sorry oh, good. about that. Hello. Okay, good. Yeah, it looks like your screen <laughs> crashed too. So we, we, lo we lost you, but I, w I don't know if you could hear me. I was, I was nattering away. Yeah, well, no, I didn't. I, I totally uh, – it, 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 it dropped me altogether. I apologize for that. Oh, okay. So Let uh, me... people heard me and, and not you, so I'll summarize super quickly then just to make sure that I've got this ac accurately. Number one, um, for people who don't know what ClickBank is, it's a repository for people who want to – who offer their products and services and that you can become an affiliate of, and vice versa. I mean, you can put your products in there as well. So one of the ways to market your products is to, um, to put that click here, and it's any of the affiliate offerings that you have found in ClickBank or maybe otherwise. And then number two, people click on ads that um, are there. I think that it, that's generated automatically, as I understand it, with your app. Is that right? Does that get generated automatically like Google Ads? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yep. They make money yep. that way. And then the third way is by connecting with um, social networks and also by people who have blogs who may offer your app as, as an addition to their brand, valuable information to their followers and subscribers. Have I summed that up correctly? Yes, absolutely. Great. You, 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 covered, you covered those bases. Actually, it, uh, um, yeah, that's a, a great way to kind of summarize all of that. I want to make sure that everybody can see the uh, the screen again. No, it's just your screen app is running. There we go. Now we're back to the ClickBank screen. Uh, All right, good. Your, okay, now now we can see the screen. So and um, make, can it, and I'm, yeah, and and if you can see it, then that that means everybody else should be able. Oh, to great. See it. Okay, so we're on how it works. Uh, we just finished results that happened, and now we're on to. Um, and Joseph says yes. Anyone else? Uh, just make sure. It sounds like if you can just weigh in and say yes, you can see it results that happen. That would be great just for us to know. <clears throat> I can yeah, see it. Right. Okay. Okay, good. Good, good, okay, good. Great. We're, we are back. Yeah, I'm, Audrey says I'm yeah. Now. Perfect. Thanks, Charlotte. Thanks, Lori. Thanks, everybody. Perfect. So, so let me give you what, what – and I want to thank Susan for kind of walking through and clarifying all of that because I kind of tend to kind of just – you know, storm through here. I want to show you. <laughs> well, there's a lot of great information. Yeah, it, hey, listen, it makes total sense to me, Susan. I don't see why it doesn't make sense to everybody else. No, but I'm glad that you did that. I'm going to give you kind of a visual uh, and, and walk you through what you just kind of went through verbally. You know, we've got our free app, and we're monetizing it through banner ads, through through uh, in the case, in the in the example I showed you through AdMob, an ad network. We've got the affiliate offers, which in, in most cases are coming through ClickBank. And then there are also something I didn't show you. There are other paid apps 
that might be related to your app that people could download from your app that you'll also get paid on. But here's the really cool thing about it. Free apps generate a lot of traffic. I mean a lot of traffic, okay? Um, you know, you're getting on, on one app alone, say you're getting hundreds of downloads a day, I teach you how to build an opt-in form as part of your app. So one of the screens on your app is you're going to have an opt-in form on there that people could put in their name and their email address. And they can, and, and usually what you're going to do is I'll teach you how to, how to uh, find um, like free eBooks, those kind of things, free report related to your niche market that people can get by simply putting their name and email address in. So here's what you're doing. Are those only, your products? Are, are those your eBooks or are those no, other people? No, they don't have to be. Absolutely, <laughs> they do not have to be. You can get them. There's a, a, any, and again, we teach you where to find those. Um, you know, how to get your hands on those. But here's the great thing about it. You've got this app out there. People are seeing it. They're interacting with it. They're using it. They're, they're, it's, it's creating income for you. But what we do here is we add this component that allows you to build a massive list off your apps, a mm -hmm. massive list. Matter of fact, this is a bigger, faster uh, list builder, Susan, than anything I've ever done in my internet marketing career. Anything, anything really? Any paid traffic, any Google AdWords. I've never done anything that builds this fast. Because remember, you've got hundreds of people downloading and you know your app on a daily basis. You're giving away a, a, a free something, you know, a, 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 an ebook, a report, something of value. You're giving away as part of this app that people have to put their name and their email. Again, it's no different than if, if, if somebody comes to your blog or your website and you're giving away something, a, a report, a newsletter, whatever it happens to be, and people are putting their name and their email address in and they're going onto your list, right? So this goes into, and we show you how to build it through, you know, using AWeber or GetResponse, one of the, you know, one of the uh, autoresponder companies. And it gives you another way to monetize and market. Think about it. Just off of our paleo diet tips alone, we have hundreds of people now in our database that we're able to send out autoresponder messages to with other offers related to paleo diet. So it's not just them having to purchase something through the app itself. They now get emails from us that have other complimentary offers uh, as well. So, so are those again, complimentary offers, just, um, um, Rick, just to, just to um, ask, so when you're building this list, are you driving them to a website that has no. an opt-in page? No. It's no. right on the app itself, Susan. It's on the app, and then they opt in, and then you have the list, and then are you doing a push through then the smartphone? Yeah. Okay, so it's no. all done through the phone. No, 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 so. no, no. Well, no, they get an, they get a, they, you know, they opt in. The minute they uh -huh. opt in, the minute they opt in, they get a they get a thank you screen. Okay, but they're also getting an email, email okay. from the autoresponder system. So they get an Got email it. saying, mm -hmm. "Hey, thanks a lot." And on that email, a lot of times we embed an offer in there, which then would drive them to an affiliate site or a landing page or a splash page, that type of thing. I see. So, so you could drive them to your page if you want or, or an you affiliate drive them. Again, that's the beauty of an autoresponder system and setting this type of thing up and using an opt-in type, type system. You can send them wherever you want the minute they hit that Got submit it. button on your okay. phone, right? Okay, I'm tracking they, with you now. Yeah, they mm -hmm. go anyway. But again, this is kind of a little side note, a, a little, and, and I say little, the, re, the reality is it's huge, but it, it, it creates this whole other aspect to this mobile app business model that app developers don't even, they don't even think to utilize it. They don't even, it's not even in their mm -hmm. world. Mm -hmm. Not even in their world. This is coming from the internet marketing world. This is coming from my internet marketing background where, you know, you're told, you know, create a list create a list, create a list. And so I just took that concept and embedded it into the app model and said, okay, why not create a list using, using your apps as well? So again, just another way to create this constant conversation with people that are, that are downloading your app, using your app. Now you can create another conversation through email on top of having 
this conversation that you're having and this information that you're sharing with them through the app itself. Does that make sense? Well, yeah, it makes sense. And uh, and you know, just FYI, right now, what's going on in the internet marketing world is there's a less than um, you know so many people. Yes, you have to build your list, but so many less people are opting in because people are overwhelmed with information. But since you've got a very narrow niche in each particular app, your list building then is even more valuable to you because it's so targeted. And Absolutely. like what Rick was saying is that this is the fastest way to build your list. And all of, those, all of you out there who know that it takes so much time sometimes to build a list, or you build a list where people are not loyal. Here you've got built-in loyalty because you've got um, a very tight niche. And that's a very big advantage where most of our businesses you know, may be broader than that. So you're targeting different niche markets for different aspects of your business. Isn't that right? Absolutely. Totally. Well, Great. yep. Very well stated. That's exactly what it does. Okay. So now, here's kind of one of my favorite parts. This is what I call the $100 a day plan, Susan. I, I like to, sh to get right down to the nitty gritty. We've kind of gone through, I've given you an overview of the business model. Now what I want to do is show everyone exactly how this works and how it monetizes out. Okay? So we take one of our apps and what our target is, we're looking for we're looking to get it up to five hundred downloads a day per app. Okay? Five hundred downloads a day per app. And it doesn't stop at five hundred, by the way. Once you've built the momentum to get to five hundred downloads a day, it keeps growing and growing and growing. That's the beauty of this market as well. So, but but 500 is the first big plateau. By the way, when I showed you the Paleo Diet app, okay, that Paleo Diet app is not up to 500 downloads a day yet, and it's already. I mean, today this morning it's generated. Matter of fact, I didn't even look at the at the click income. Just the the affiliate income was at $85, okay, just for today. And that's at about it, it averages maybe about 120 to 150 a day right now, and, and, it, and it continues to climb. And that's after a little more than two months out in the marketplace. But what we're looking for here, and what your target is, is 500 downloads a day per app. Okay, we get about a 1% conversion rate on our offers. Okay, about a 1% conversion rate on our offers from downloads. Okay, so 500 downloads, 1% conversion. Is about that. That would be about five sales a day. Okay, what I showed today was actually a higher conversion rate than that because I had today 100 and probably 30 downloads on that app at that point. 130 downloads, and I already had three sales. Okay, so that's higher. But but again, I want to use low averages here that I know work. So 1% conversion, 500 downloads, five sales a day. The per sale average is about $19.62. That's across a number of different affiliate offers. The one that I just showed you, um, those three sales generated, you know, $85. Uh, so that that's pretty close to this $19.62 per day uh, average. Actually, it's a little bit more than that. So that's $98.10 per day per app at 500 downloads, 1% conversion, five sales a day. $19.62 per day, $98.10 per day. Yes, I know it's not $100, but I wanted to use I mm -hmm. wanted to use actual real numbers here. Actual real numbers to 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 show you how you get to this $100 a day per app. I want to emphasize it's per app, okay? And what we teach people is we teach people to build app portfolios, not to just go out and build one app and then spend all your time marketing this app or promoting this one app. We talk about building a portfolio because what happens then, you know, in, in looking at building a por portfolio is we kick in what I call the monetization economics because if you've got 10 apps then at that point doing 500 downloads a day, that's $981 a day on those 10 apps. And remember, remember the example of Quark and Michael, okay? And what they've been able to do in three years with, with, with their app portfolio with those 20 apps. They're certainly exceeding these numbers. 25 apps, $2,452 a, a day. 50 apps, $4,905 a day. 100 apps, 
And again, it's not inconceivable over the even over the course of a year's time to have a hundred apps in your portfolio. Because remember, what I'm showing you, the apps that we have in our portfolio, what I teach you to build, it doesn't cost you a dime to build the thing. It doesn't cost you anything to build that app. It doesn't cost you anything to publish. You pay Google. You pay Google fifty dollars as a registration fee. Fifty dollars one time to register to be able to publish apps. And then you could publish a thousand apps and it won't cost you a dime to publish those. Not a dime. But here's the best part of all of this from my standpoint. This is all residual and passive income. What do I mean by that? Residual in that this is reoccurring income. This this income is coming in month after month after month because once you've published this in the app stores, people just come in, they find it, they download it. You build the initial momentum through that what I call that social media kickstart, but then because you start gaining ground in, in the app store itself when people search paleo diet or gluten free or whatever it, whatever the niche market is. You 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 know we'll show you how to capture those top spots in there. You just start getting downloads just because you're there at that point. And again, this income keeps on coming in day after day, week after week, month after month. And not only is it residual, it's passive as well. Passive meaning it doesn't matter what you're doing. You can be sleeping. You once it's published, it's out there. It's working. It's working for you. Sleeping in the shower, on vacation, you're making this money. The other great part about this, and I don't have this on the slide, it's great part-time as well. You could have, you could have a, a, a regular nine-to-five job. You can work this business model any time. You could work it at midnight. You could work it at 6 o'clock in the morning. You could work it at 2 o'clock in the morning. You could work it Saturday, Sunday. Because remember, you aren't selling something to somebody. You don't have to be around during regular business hours for this business. This business can be performed anytime, anywhere, at any time. It, it, it doesn't matter. So it's a great part-time business as well. Um, to be able to, to build, to find the niche market, get all the information you need for that niche market, and create that app is about a three or four hour process, Susan, about a three or four hour process. To set up and the whole app and all of yes. the affiliates? Yes. Stuff? Yes. Three or four hour process. That's You're it. You're kidding me. No. Three to four hours. I was thinking, oh, I'd love to do this, but am I going to have to set up my whole first quarter of next year to do all this? No. No. Three to four hours built paleo diet tips. Three to four hours built uh, gluten free. Three to four, all of our apps, same thing. Same model, time and time and time again. It's a process. Process takes X amount of hours to do. It takes X it, to build the app itself. Once you have all of the information, once you have all your content sources in hand for your app, to actually build the app itself and get, and get it published, it's less than an hour, Susan. Less than an hour. Wow. Less than an hour. I I've built got an app. I mean, I'm pretty I, I built an app. Yeah. I built an app the other day. I, I have a, a friend of mine who's a CEO of a of a, a health and wellness company, and he said, "Rick, how long would it take to build an app for my company?" So, in other words, you've got my website on there, you've got my order page on there, you've got my uh, fan, my Facebook fan page, you've got my Twitter feed, you've got our YouTube channel. You have all of this information. And, and, Rick, I want a calorie counter on there. I want an actual interactive calorie counter on there. And, and, oh. and, and, and I said, um, if I told you, you wouldn't believe me. So let me just go ahead and just get it done, okay? So I, I had this conversation with him at the end of a day. It was like end of a day on last Thursday. Friday morning, I had the app in his hand. Friday morning. Right. I'm, I, I, yeah, wow. I mean, I'm and, just, and, 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 and he yeah. looked at this, and it was an app like he would have had to go out and pay, literally pay thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars for this app, easily, easily thousands of dollars for this app. I had built that app using his existing, his existing content, and the only piece that I went out and found was the calorie, the interactive calorie counter, okay? 
And I found that on the web, Susan. I found an interactive uh-huh. calorie counter that, that, that uh, was just a widget. And I just took that widget and, and put it in the app itself, and it created this interactive calorie counter. But now it's, it's all tied to his content. Every piece of his business is now inside this app that he now can give away to all of his customers, all of his prospects. How cool is that? That's really amazing. And that's, I'm that's, not wow. – hey, I, here, listen. I'm, I, yes, I'm somewhat technically oriented. I get it. I'm not a developer. I have no training. I have no developing background. I don't, I, I don't get code. I don't understand how to do all of that. But I do know how to work a piece of software, especially as easy as we have, to go ahead mm-hmm. and put, take this piece, drag it over here, drop it in. Take this piece, drag it over here, and it's literally drag and drop. Take this piece, drop it in. Okay, I, it, it's that simple. It's that easy. So that's why it, it, it didn't take me long at all to be able to build that for him because all the content was already there. I didn't have to go out and research it. All I had to do is just pull it in using our tool, and, and he had it in hand. And he was just – he was like, how did you do that? I mean, this is amazing. How did you do this so quickly? Da, 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 da. You know, I, I can't wait to show this to my senior staff. You know, it, but it was like – and I didn't want to make it seem like it was as easy as it was. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. It was like I wanted to show it as some real value. Mm-hmm. But it, it, was, it was that. And, and yes, you've got to go through the training. You have to understand the process. There is a learning curve here, but it's not a difficult learning curve, okay? It's not a difficult learning curve. Matter of fact, let me, you know, rather than kind of jump ahead, let me, let me kind of jump in and talk about building the app portfolio. What you see on the screen is my current app portfolio. This is what I've built or my team has built over the past two and a half months, okay? There's how many? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's nine apps on here. I want to point out one particular app on here, Angela Giles. Angela is a business partner of mine, and I built an app for Angela, and this is a good example of exactly what I was talking about with the app that I just talked about building for Randy's company. Um, Angela is a social media uh, guru, if you will, to use that word. And basically, I built an app for Angela that brought in all of her Facebook content, her, her Facebook fan page, her Twitter feed. It brought in her blog. It it created a contact field in there so people can contact her. And she w- also we put a, uh, that opt-in screen in there for her where she had a free report on Facebook marketing that people could download for free by entering that information into her app, okay? So basically built that. So this is a good example. The Angela, G- <laughs> the Angela Giles app mm. is a good example of what you could do for your business, something that you can create for your business. All of these other apps that you see on here, simple, easy recipes, here's the gluten-free, here's paleo diet, healthy pregnancy tips, free handicapping tips, uh, pet sci- I, I love pet psychics, by the way, pet psychics, <laughs> 50, 50 shades between the sheets, and yes, that's exactly what it sounds like. Um, all of those are niche market focused. And the Angela app is a great example of what you could do for your company or yourself. You know, if you're Susan like yourself, you could build an app for yourself and your business and, and, and you know, to create an app that would brand you. I guess that's So what that would people thing. actually download? Like if, uh, if I had my own app, what would people be getting on there? Like what would they, you know what I mean? They'd have, here's the cool thing about it. They'd have all of your content, all of your content, in one single place on their phone. Right now, so it would like access all of, all of my articles, like, and and yeah. then they would be able yeah. to just like scroll through them. Because I'm I'm not visualizing like exactly yeah. how that would work. Yeah. Like they click on Angela Giles and they go, oh, I want to see yeah. what she's up to on Facebook, or I I want to yeah. see what she's up to on Twitter, or I want to see what yeah. she's written on the blog. Yes, all of it. Huh. All of it. All of those pieces are accessed through that one single app on their phone. So now, because think about it before, Susan, if I want to access all of your content, I have to go to your blogs, then I have to jump over to your Facebook fan page, then I'd have to jump over to your Twitter page, then I have to jump over to YouTube. So all of that content. I'm following you now. 
Yeah, you're able to place all of your content, everything you want people to see in one single place on their phone. Think about it. They carry their phone around all the time. So they're, do they carry their laptop around all the time? Of course they don't. Of course they don't. You know? So now you have the ability to put your content in front of your audience 24-7 on their phone. Pretty cool. That's really neat. That's yeah. very appealing. Mm -hmm. So being able to build this portfolio of all these kind of different, you know, different, again, I'm showing you two different examples here, one of completely niche focused and one that is more company slash brand personality focused, if you will. But again, it, 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 you, you cover all of those gamuts in building an app portfolio. But here's the other cool thing, Susan. And again, I, I, this isn't necessarily, this doesn't have to be your end game. It wasn't Quok and Michael's end game to sell their portfolio when they got into it. They just wanted to create some cool apps, and if they could make some money off of it, that'd be cool too. And obviously they, 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 they did way beyond their wildest dreams. But selling your app, there are companies out there, and this is one right here on the screen, appbusinessbrokers.com. They, they will sell your portfolio. And here's the good news. There are more people out there looking to purchase portfolios than there are portfolios. It's a seller's market right now. It's a seller's market. It's exciting. And these portfolios are selling for ridiculous amounts of money. And just to kind of give you an example, here's one single Android app. This is just an Android app, okay? And it's not a, it's not a fancy game app. It, it was a utilities app. I can't remember the exact app. It was a pretty good, it was a solid app. It was already generating cash flow of $771,000, okay? And they got $2.6 million for it. They sold it for $2.6 million. Here's a portfolio of several different apps right here. This app portfolio was generating about $800,000. And again, this cash flow is Is that a year? That's a year. year. Mm -hmm. It's a yearly cash flow, $800,000. They sold it for $2.2 million. Here's a smaller app portfolio, three or four different apps in this. It covered a, a number of different niche categories, um, generating $183,000 in cash flow on a yearly basis. They sold it for $395,000, again, just to show you what's possible with this business, just to show you what's possible and what you, know, what you can do. You don't ever have to sell it. It yeah. doesn't ever have to be the end game. But again, just to show you what's possible. So, well, I just have a quick question about that. Just playing yeah. devil's advocate for a second. You know, if they're making eight hundred thousand a year, why would they just sell it for two point six million? Because that's just two years revenue, and assuming the revenue is going to go up, that seems really low to me. Because they because they, they want to cash out and start over again. So they just want to get the cash now and then begin yep. again. Exactly. Okay. <clears throat> okay. All, they're, all they're, 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 they all they're doing is flipping. They're just flipping. They're flipping portfolios. Mm -hmm. If I okay. own a house, if I own a house and it's rental income, it's a piece of rental income, and that and that and that house is generating, you know, thirty thousand dollars in net income or forty thousand dollars in net income to me on a yearly basis, um, why do I want to sell it for five hundred thousand dollars? Because I want to cash out, and mm -hmm. I want to flip. I'm going to buy the next one, and I want to, you know, I want to fix it up, and and I want to start, you know, create an income generating property. And then sell that one, and so on, and so on. That's 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 another piece of the of the app model. Really, it's another piece of the business. Okay, I see. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So now, kind of kind of putting this into perspective, and in what we've built, what we've put together with our program, what we've done. I, I say it's a six week training program. I guess in the very very beginning, it was a six week training program because I did all of the training live and recorded it. Now that it's all live, basically what we've got are six training modules. I say that you want to take about a week to go through each one of them, but the nice thing about having them now all recorded, Susan, is that people can go through them now um, on their own time schedule. Mm -hmm. That's great. It, it, it could be two weeks. It could be three weeks. It could be a week. It could be... Okay, I, I want to do this over the course of six days. Okay, you're nuts, but fine, you know, type thing. So <laughs> we put that all together. And, and what we've done is we've created a really cool training site 
You have to log into your training site, but then you've got access to all of the training. All your training mods, modules are right here, ready to go. And again, you can work on them uh, at your leisure, right? You can work on them 24 hours a day, uh, seven days a week. You can work on them, you know, an hour a day, uh, you know, every week. Whatever you want to do, it's all there for you, accessible at any time. And you don't have to worry about, okay, Rick, when's your next training session? You know, are you going to record it? That's not a factor now because it's already been done. It's already been done. We have all of the training already there ready to go for you. So that's the cool thing about it. So just to give you an idea of what we've got inside the training itself in week one, week one we cover a little bit of ground here. Number one, how to pick the right categories for your apps, very important. We teach you the market research strategies that helps you target that right audience. You want to make sure you have the right audience for your apps because the last thing you want to do is come up with an app. It might be a niche market. It might even be a good niche market, but it's not a good niche market for the app world. Okay? People aren't going to, you know, they're interested in the topic, but they aren't, in, they aren't interested enough to download it as an app. We want to make sure that we're targeting the right things there. So we're going to teach you how to do that here in week one. We're going to teach you how to set up your app marketplaces the right way as well so that uh, you get a, a, a good start on things. Week two, week two we're going to cover – this is actually the building week. We're going to teach you in week two how to build your apps. Now, I say how to find the best graphics for your apps. You don't have to build these graphics. I'm going to show you where to find them, how to, how to embed them into your apps very simply, very easily. So we're going to show you that here in week two. How to create these apps for free. Very important. I can show you how to pay for these apps. I can show you how to go out and find people to build these apps for you, but it's going to cost, on average, $500 to several thousand dollars per app. Well, what, what good does that do us? You know, I mean, yeah, anybody can buy their way into the app market, and then it's going to take you a long time to recoup that, uh, that money to be able to start monetizing those apps. We're going to show you how to build them for free here. We're going to show you these key monetization strategies, these initial strategies to get the most out of your apps here uh, in week two as well. And then finally, how to get your apps ready to submit to the marketplaces. You want to obviously have them ready to go because week three is, guess what? Week three is how to submit your app to the, the, the three different stores to get accepted. And I can tell you, like I said, with Google Play, Google Play is 100% acceptance. Um, Apple, iTunes, it takes two or three weeks to get accepted there. We focus initially on the Android market, Susan, because mm. that's the easiest market to get into. And it's fastest. the most wide open market. And to mm -hmm. me, it's the easiest market to monetize. So we, we, we focus on, the, on that market. But the reality is when you're creating that app and that app builder, you're creating it for both the Android and the um, the iPhone market at the same time. So it's not like you have to, well, Rick, does that mean I have to go back and build it for um, uh, you know, the, the, the iPhone later on? No, absolutely not. It's created for all, including the Windows phones, by the way, um, at the same time. So it's, it's created for all those. But we, we teach you and, and we focus on that Android market first and foremost. And then in week three, we also get into some additional monetization strategies. Week four, this, this fourth module focuses on how to analyze your st stats because now you've got apps out in the marketplace. We're going to teach you how to focus on and what to focus on on the stats and data that's being created and then how to, how to tweak your app. Here's the other great thing about apps. Once they're created, they aren't locked. So it's not like, okay, I've got my paleo diet tips out there. I want to make some changes to it. That means I'm going to have to, what, completely rebuild it with the changes. No. Make the changes in our app builder. You simply, all you simply do is create, you know, or is save those changes, and guess what? It automatically updates in your app in the app stores. How cool is that? Automatically. So you could make changes on the fly, and those changes are updated automatically and take place probably in a matter of an hour from the time you make those changes. So very cool. Very much like making changes on your website or your blog. Mm, mm -hmm. So week four, we also get into some advanced monetization techniques to get more revenue out of each app because, again, we, we want to teach you a lot of different ways how to, how to do that. Plus, we're going to show you how to take advantage of the app network that we've built to really explode your income. 
we're in the process of building an app network of different app. I call appreneurs, Susan. It, 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 it's mm-hmm. it, it's that's funny. App in entrepreneurs, mm-hmm. right? Appreneurs. So we we're building this network, and what we're doing this for is so that we have this network that will help and cross promote one another's apps. Does it make sense? Yeah. So totally. mm-hmm. it, it, you know, it, it, it's 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 a terrific thing. It's a very powerful thing, and we're going to show you how to take advantage of what we're we've already built uh, within our own uh, network here in week four and week five. Week five, we're going to show you how to motivate and reward your, I I use the word customers here, uh, but the people that have downloaded your apps, we're going to show you how to get them to download more of your apps and how to use your app more on a consistent basis because it comes down to app usage. It's not just about people downloading your app. What good does it do you to have your app downloaded to their phone if they never use it, right? So we're going to show you how to make sure they're using it all the time. I'm going to show you a pretty cool app upgrade strategy that adds even more income into this model. And then we're going to show you a really neat thing, a way to piggyback off of other people's apps, um, your competitors' apps, how to piggyback off their apps to promote your own apps and generate even more income. Kind of a sneaky way to do it. And also, this is where we show you in week five that cool email list building technique, how to get the most advantage out of that, how to do that, how to get it into your app, and how to get the most out of it. We'll, we go through that here in week, uh, week five. Then finally, week six module, how to leverage what you've learned in the local business market. What do I mean? There's a lot of programs out there right now, Susan, that focus on building mobile apps for the local market. Okay? That's not what we do. That's not who we are. But because we're teaching you how to build mobile apps, we're going to show you how to leverage that in your local business market if you want. But that's a pretty cool market for a lot of people, and a lot of people like that market. Okay? We're going to show that to you here in week six, how to do that, how to leverage your local business market. We're going to show you how to create and grow your own network of entrepreneurs. Remember, we're building that network ourselves, but we're going to show you how to do it on your own and not have to rely on our network if you don't want to. Some advanced tricks to get even more downloads in the in the app stores. Again, it's all about visibility in the app stores after you give it that initial marketing push. And then how to sell your apps through our network. network. And when I say sell your apps, I'm talking about the end game. I'm talking about selling your entire portfolio. We'll show you how to do that here in week six if that's something that you ultimately want to do. Here's one of my favorite pieces here, Susan. How to outsource your... Not, not just your entire business. You could actually outsource pieces of it. The app model, business model, is one of the most outsource-friendly um, business models that I've ever been associated with. So there are pieces of it that you can outsource, or you can mm. outsource the entire thing and do it very, very inexpensively, very economically, so that you can get other people building apps for you like my Paleo Diet app, like you know any of our apps that we have currently published, for like twelve dollars a build, twelve dollars an app creation. So we're going to show you how to do that, how to get people to market for you, because again, you may get to that point where you've got five or six apps out there. You're generating maybe at that point a hundred dollars a day. You can afford to spend twenty, thirty dollars a day to do some outsourcing for you that just creates more leverage for your business. We're going to show you how to do that and, and also give you a lot of resources here in week six and how to accomplish that. That takes you through the, the, the initial learning modules, but we've also built what we call a resource vault where we have tons of additional resources. We've got market research tools in here for you. We've got a very cool niche finder that uh, you could basically use to find profitable niche markets. We, of course, have our app development software. We have two different app creators for you in our, in our resource library. And then we have a lot of marketing tools and resources as well for you at your disposal, or at your disposal in our resource vault that you're, you're going to be able to use as you're learning and as you're building your app uh, portfolio, as you're creating this app portfolio. So, you know, when it comes right down to it, Susan, I love it when I get to a point in a business where I can start showing success stories with real people. It's one one thing for me to show 
my success. Um, but it's another thing to just show, you know, our students and what they're doing. And so I'm going to share a little bit of that with you folks. And you guys are going to have the opportunity um, to go to our web to, to go to our website uh, here after this, and you can see a little, you know, some more success stories and even drill down on these. You can actually go and see their apps. You can download their apps, which is really cool, and see what they've built. Um, Vivian Fitzgerald is actually a grandmother who lives up in British Columbia in Canada. And um, <laughs> I love how she says, I never imagined that I could actually create and publish mobile apps. Trust me when I say Vivian was, was probably one of the most tech unfriendly folks that I've ever taught. And, uh, and she's cranking out apps now. I mean, it's ridiculous. Every week she's got a new app that she's creating. Um, and I, I've actually gotten to a point now, I think she has more apps in her app portfolio than, than we have in ours at this point. So, uh, it, it, you know, Vivian's a great uh, example and success story of, of what could be done. Somebody out there, just again, regular folk out there uh, in the program. Tim Raja, Tim is out, out of Texas. Uh, Tim is now, I'm showing you six of his apps. I think he's now up to 15 apps that he now has in, in his app portfolio. And look at it, some of how he's really, uh, I can't even pronounce this, uh, tinnitus, tinnitus. Mm -hmm. It's that, it's that, it's that, um, that ear uh, problem. That ear the problem, ringing in right? the ear. Mm -hmm. Ringing in the ears. So again, he's done a number of apps in very, very specific markets um, that he's seeing a lot of success with. James Sammy. James is actually out of Singapore. James lives in Singapore. Um, James was like right out of the gate. Uh, he just jumped into the model. And I think James had created eight apps after, yeah, well, he says so right here, eight apps after four weeks' time. Okay, eight apps after four weeks. Uh, I definitely can't keep up with James, but James is, again, focused in certain markets. That well, it's a very small market, simple cupcake recipes. I mean, talk about niche. That's, and very, and that's a very tight niche. You would be very surprised at how many downloads he gets on that simple cup. He gets probably 50 or 60 downloads a day on that simple cupcake recipe app. Interesting. It's a, listen, people love cupcakes. They love making cupcakes. And if you think about how many people in the United States, how many people across, because remember, when you develop an app and you put it into the app store, it's available to be downloaded from, by anybody from anywhere, from anywhere. So again, it's not just US-centric or Canada-centric or UK-centric, or it's anywhere, anywhere that people can, down, can, can, can get to Google Play Store, which is just about anywhere in the world, they can download, they can download their apps. So that's the cool thing about it. So again, we've seen a lot, and, and I could, uh, you know, go on and on and on. I'm way over my time that I wanted to take with you, you all today, but I wanted to make sure that we got these, you know, give you an example of, of, of some of just some of our students. You're going to be able to see more of this on on our site as well. Here's what you get with our program. So the hands-on training. Now I've priced out when I first got into this 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 space. I priced out a couple of other programs that are out there, and I found that they were charging anywhere from two to $3,000 for their training. Um, so I knew that it had at least that much value, just the training itself. Of course, when we added the vault in there, when we had the market research tools, when we had the niche finder, the app creation software that we have in there, the marketing tools, that easily adds another $1,000 value on it. And then, of course, our app network. And this is kind of like the MasterCard commercial where you get to the point where it, you, know, you say you know, it's priceless. It, this, the app network, you can't put a value on it. I had to put a value on the darn thing, so I put a $1,000 value on it. The reality is we've created a package here that easily has a $5,000 value on it. You go out and you look at what other – and again, there's not a lot of other programs out there like this, but there are a couple – if you look at what they're charging, it easily has a $5,000 value on it. But here's what you really get with our program. Number one, you get a simple five-step success formula that we drill on over and over and over again, that five-step success formula. You get a non-techie friendly app builder. What does that mean? That means it's an app creator for those of us that aren't very tech savvy. Well, exactly what Thank that is. Thank you. Thank yes. you. 
Mm-hmm. You get training that takes you from knowing it, and trust me, I, I, this is what I love about it, from knowing nothing, nothing about mobile apps other than I've got some on my phone and that's about the extent of what I know about mobile apps, to being, uh, uh, I say expert, some people actually become experts, but you get super comfortable and very savvy uh, within six weeks' time. Okay, That's what the training does for you. That's what we, that's what we deliver in the training. You get all the resources. Bottom line, you're going to get all the resources you need to create a six-figure income part-time because, again, if you're creating those apps that are generating $100 a day per app, I mean, do the numbers. And, again, it doesn't take full-time effort to create that. That's the great thing, again, about this particular business model. So, you know, we, we had to put a price tag on it, and what we've been charging and what we've been getting is we created for this $5,000 package, we created a one-time payment of $997. But I've got to tell you, I looked at that, and I knew, and I did, I got that, but I got to the point where I said, you know what, I want to open this up for, the economy's tough right now, times are tough. I wanted to create this and make this available for just about anybody. And what we did was we took $200 off of this, um, uh, Susan, right off the bat. We took $200 off this, and, and so we created a one-time payment of $797. But I wanted to create something really, really special for your folks, for the people that are here because of you, because oh, of your you. relationship with them. So we And Susan doesn't even know about this, by the way. Usually this is the, the, the time where Susan and I have talked about this, what can you offer my folks? We didn't even have this conversation. But what I did was this. this I, I, wanted to, I wanted to give you guys a one-time $500 discount off of what we normally get. Oh. And, and, and a bigger discount than any time, anything that I've ever offered. Okay, so one-time single payment, $497. But, again, I wanted to create one more option for folks, Susan. One more single option for folks. If 497 is still a bit too much, I created a payment plan, three payments of $227. Now, if you do 227 times three, it's more than 497. You're paying for the convenience of the three payments. It's still less. It's still less than what my normal discount of 797 is, though. It's still less than that, right? I really so appreciate I, that. Well, I want people to get access to this. We've, right now, Susan, we've got about 125 students, and we're just scratching the surface on this business model. I want to be able to open this up to more people. I know. I was so excited because this is really, this really is like super brand new. And, it is. Um, it you know, And that's is. one of the reasons why I wanted to have you on before, because it's going to get flooded, this marketplace, as soon as people it, figure out it, how to do it. It is. Right now, there's a window of opportunity open. Okay, there's a window of opportunity open on this business model. I don't know how much longer it's going to be, but it, it, it's going to be, oh, oh, people are going to get an email after this, Susan. They're going to have this, this the web address that they see on the screen right now, and this is just for your people. This web address is just for your folks. Get socialappincome.com slash prsecrets slash join. You're go- Everybody's going to get an email here in the next 20 minutes, um, it, 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 if not sooner, and it will have this, this email in it. But if you want to jot this down so you can get there, because here's what I had to do, and I was kind of forced into this by my business partner. They said, okay, you can do this, you can offer this, but it's going to be for a limited number of people. That one-time payment, the three payments I'm going to leave alone, that one-time payment of 497 is going to be good for the first 50 people that take advantage of this offer, Susan, the first 50 people, then it's automatically built into my system to bump it back up to that 797 price. So the first 50 people to get in to take advantage of it will get that 497 price. After that, it will be bumped up. So I just, okay, so I that's what let, Sonia's asking, how long does this last? So it lasts I, I want until it, the it, first 50 it, people it, take it. The first 50 people, and I, I don't know, I, I know that we had several hundred people uh, coming into this webinar. I don't know how many people are going to take immediate action. It's one of those kind of things where 
you want to take advantage of it as quickly as you can because you don't want to get caught on the other side of that 50, obviously. But I had to set it up that way. I had to do it that way. So, and the other thing uh, that I just want to say about that, Rick, is that, like I said, this is going to be a, this is the, you know, you want to get in on the ground floor for this kind of thing because, um, you know, as Rick is building his program, I mean, there's only 120 people in it right now. And this is one of the few webinars he's done so far. So this is going to start getting out there to all the other marketers and things like that. Um, but you know, getting in on the ground floor 